Let's review browser trends in this lesson. That is to talk about the major browsers that are being used in the marketplace today. Because as a web designer, you need to know that information. You need to know what browsers are being used so that you can prepare your web designs to show perfectly inside those browsers or as perfectly as we can. So let's get started talking about the five major browsers that are in use today. Firefox has the most circulation with 40.6% of the market share, followed by Google's Chrome, which has 30.3% of people in the world using it. 22.4% of people in the world are using Internet Explorer by Microsoft. Apple's Safari has 3.8% of the market share. And rounding out the top five browsers is Opera, which has 2.3% of the market share. So some things to remember when you're working with different types of browsers and preparing your content. You always want to test your content in multiple browsers. Different browsers can display things such as submit buttons and other content differently, so you definitely want to take a look at it in as many different browsers as you can. Now, Adobe makes a program called Device Central that also allows you to see your content on different mobile devices, and we'll talk about that more in just a moment. But that's another good way of being able to view your content and eliminate as many variables as possible. Testing your content on different platforms such as Windows and Mac is always a good idea. Colors can shift and look different. And also, back to the submit buttons and other pieces of content on your web page can definitely look different, depending not only on the browser that you're in, but also on the platform that you're in. And finally, testing your content on mobile is really a good idea. And as I mentioned, that Device Central by Adobe is a great feature of Adobe software to be able to go in and view your content exactly as it's going to look on a variety of different mobile devices, such as different types of phones, iPhones, you know, Motorola, whatever. So it's always a good idea to test it on multiple browsers, multiple platforms, and also see your content on mobile as well. So this is just a little bit of a review of the different types of browsers that are out there. So as you're moving forward, you can keep in mind what your content is going to look like in every one of them.